What do the numbers on binoculars mean? Well, it's an excellent and very important question that I'm gonna be answering here today. Whether you're in the market for a new pair of binoculars or you have an existing pair of binoculars, then this video is for you to ensure that you get to see everything you want to and that you have a pair of binoculars that meet your particular use case. So let's start with the first number. So for these binoculars, these are my Celestron Cometron 7x50. So let's look at the number 7 first. That refers to the magnification power. So 7 times in this example essentially means that objects will appear 7 times closer than they will with my naked eye. So the higher this number, so the higher the 7, the closer you'll see. Okay, so if, if you look at binoculars, some will be, you know, up to 25 times 70 and even more. Sometimes you'll see, you know, 20 times 80, 25 times 70, etc. Particularly with the Celestron uh, brand, you'll of, often see that if you're looking for astronomy binoculars. Now, do bear in mind that the larger the magnification, the higher the chance for image shakiness as you are viewing. So if you go back to our previous example of the, of the 25 by 70, they will provide you with greater magnification than say this pair would, but do bear in mind that they will be larger and likely heavier binoculars. And that gets us onto the second number. And this also dictates the size of the binoculars as well. So if you look at these binoculars, they are really relatively lightweight. They're, uh, they're small, they're lightweight, and I can use these on the go. But the second number here, you'll see 50. Now that refers to the objective lens diameter. Now this is just as important, if not more important, depending on what you want to see. So an objective lens diameter is the diameter of the front lens measured in millimeters. Okay, so the larger the lens diameter, the more light that your binoculars will be able to uh, obtain. And essentially that will mean brighter and clearer images. So things you'll be able to see further into the distance and they will be with greater clarity. So it's very, very important. That number here is so important, okay? Um, particularly in dim conditions. So the darker the conditions, the higher you'd want this number to be in order to be able to see successfully. But bear in mind, the higher that number, so if we refer back to our previous example, the 25 by uh, 70 as an example, or maybe even 20 by 80 or 25 by 100 binoculars, they will be considerably larger. Now I'm talking about, if I hold these out in front of me, they'll typically extend up to, hopefully you can see that, open up, up to about here, they'll be wider, bulkier, and you will likely need a tripod in order to observe for an extended period of time. So do bear that in mind. There is a lens size and weight trade-off to consider. The smaller these numbers, typically the smaller the binoculars, the easier they'll be to kind of carry with you on the go, to um, observe for an extended period of time. The higher these numbers, the bigger the binoculars will be, the bulkier they'll be, they'll be heavy, and you won't be able to observe for extended periods without, say, a tripod or the ability to lean on something, which is why the bigger astronomy binoculars, you tend to have a tripod. So when you are looking at these numbers, do consider the activities or your what you want to use your binoculars for when you'll be using them and the kind of conditions you'll be using them in as well so at night again it makes sense to have a higher uh, numbers here if you're using them in the day on a bright bright um, bright day with a with the sunshine you know smaller numbers will suffice so do consider that as well also we've got the field of view here you can see that this is a 6.6 .6 degrees now the field of view is essentially um, the, the the amount of the the amount you'll see at a time. So the the narrower the field of view, the more you're honed in on one object, if you like. So, if you're a bird watcher, you might prefer a wider field of view, while astronomers might prioritise, say, the lens size for better visibility in low light. So do consider that as well. There's often a trade-off between the field of view and the magnification and the objective lens diameter. You can't kind of have both. Just bear that in mind. So the other thing to consider about what you'll be kind of looking at in terms of your what your binoculars will enable you to see are things like the eye relief, if you wear um, glasses or something like that, the focus type, uh, and the waterproofing as well. So do bear that in mind. All of those will greatly affect your experience and comfort during extended use. 
So that's the end of this video. I hope it was useful. If you have any comments about these numbers or just binocular specifications in general, then drop them down below. I'll, be, I'll get back to you and, and answer as best I can. And please hit the like button if this was helpful. It helps tell me that I should produce more videos like this. And do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And with all of that said, I hope you have an excellent day.